this is Michelle with Pink and Main, and today I'm going to be using our holiday scene dies to create an Easter card. Spring and Easter are upon us. The weather's getting warmer outside, and I'm super excited for that. But I wanted to show you how you can take this holiday scene die, which has a lot of winter Christmas themed dies in it, but the base dies that are in here can be used for any season or any theme. So as you may have seen before, I have a video where we walk through putting together the holiday scene die as, as it comes with all the dies included. And you see it opens up this adorable little diorama box card with several different layers. And it comes with the houses and trees, the little snowman, the deer, happy holidays, little Santa here and all the little layering pieces for the back and the sides and the front. But when you take just this card part, you can create it for any theme or occasion that you need. Now here is just an adorable card that one of my design team members made and they just made a flat card using some of the dies that are in there. So when the holidays come around, if you don't wanna make a dimensional card, you can easily make this really pretty flat card without all the dimension. Okay, so I have all our parts and pieces cut out and ready for us to put together an adorable Easter card. I have our card base pieces all in white. So we'll start to assemble those. I have already kind of pre-folded the score lines so they're ready to be assembled. The first thing I'm going to do is put this plaid back piece on. And it just gets centered in the back there. Next, I'm gonna apply the layering pieces to the outsides. And these really pretty pastel papers are from our Pastel Dreams six by six paper pad. They're perfect for spring or anything where you just need some really pretty, more pastel tone colors and patterns. So we have that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add adhesive to these little front tabs here. Now, if, I were, if you're putting this together at home, you probably wanna use like a strong double-sided tape or a liquid glue. I find that some of the tape runners don't necessarily hold up over time, especially on a movable dimensional card like this. There's just too many moving parts. But just for quickness, the video today, I'm gonna to put it together with a tape runner and I can always go back and glue that a little better if I need to. So once I have that front piece on, I kind of fold it back and forth, make sure it folds flat each direction, and it just kind of lets me know that I have that kind of square and in the right place. The next thing I'm gonna do is glue down a little layering piece to that front, front there. The next thing we're gonna do is add our hillsides. And as you can see, they're opposites of each other. So where one goes down, the other one goes up. So they're nice to layer together. So we're just gonna add adhesive to the side tabs. So I'm gonna fold those tabs back like this. I'm gonna slide it inside the box. And I'm gonna put this first one where the top of it lines up to the top of this curve right here. You can see inside there, the edge of the tab fits right back against the back of the card. Once I have that in place, I fold it again back and forth make sure everything is square and in the right position. So that's our first hill. Now we'll take the second one and we're gonna 
fold those tabs back again. And if you need a little bit more detailed instruction, you can always find the video on our, the holiday seam dies by searching for that. And the top of this one is gonna meet up with this curve on the side and the edge of the flaps meet up with this this hill the first hill that we put in and i'll show you that in just a second let me get it straight okay so there you can kind of see inside i'm going to fold it again see it's given me a little issue this side is crooked so that's kind of how you can tell if you have something crooked it won't lay it won't lay perfectly flat when you fold it. So now there we're going each direction, it's going flat. So I know that everything is square and in the proper place. So now we have our base card, our card base. And you can see how you can use any pattern paper or colored card stock and make it for any scene, any occasion, any theme that you need. I have here die cut and colored stamps from our Easter egg stamp set that has two adorable bunnies and a little chick here. It's got some pretty decorative eggs with a solid that you could use behind it if you want or just stamp some solid eggs. It says Happy Easter and then we've got a little pretty floral that you could embellish your card and project with. There is also coordinating dies available for this stamp set. So now all we have to do is just assemble. We can put our eggs and our bunnies anywhere we want to. I think I'll put that little bunny there on the front. And there we have our little completed Easter scene card. I've also made a second one here. I just added that Happy Easter up here in the back corner and it just makes an adorable pop-up card with a lots of cute, adorable Easter eggs and bunnies and don't forget the little chick there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time, keep living the creative life.